Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is number patterns, part five, input and output tables that use addition rules. An input output table is a table of numbers that has an input column and an output column that runs up and down or in rows from left to right. The input is the number we start with and the output is what the number looks like after it has changed. It is our job to figure out what change is happening. Are we adding or subtracting? Are we multiplying or dividing? And then by how much? That is called the rule. Today, we will focus on rules that involve addition. We will be showing our work off to the side. Let's use a calculator today so that we can save a little bit of time. And let's get started. Find the rule and complete the table. Input four, output 11. I'm going to skip this one because we don't have an output. Input six, output 13. Well, the numbers are definitely getting bigger. And when the numbers get bigger, it's either going to be an addition rule or a multiplication rule. I'm going to rule out multiplication. And how I do that is when I take my 4, I cannot multiply 4 by any number and get 11. For example, 4 times 3 would be 12. Uh, 4 times 2 would be 8. So if the rule doesn't work for your top row or for any of these, it means it's not going to work at all, which means that it's not going to be multiplication. So we are working with uh, an addition rule today. So I'm going to show my work here. We're going to start with our four, and we, our job is to find the rule. So four, and we said we think it's, it's, it's an addition, plus blank equals 11. Couple ways that you could do this. You could just use a uh, count on strategy. You could say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and you could count that and see that that would be seven. So in other words, this would be a plus seven rule. You could also use your uh, fact families. You remember way back in first and second grade that fact families are when you have a set of numbers and it's usually th you know, three numbers, and you can add and change the order or subtract, and the numbers are used interchangeably. So for example, if we had four plus blank equals 11, we could also, using our knowledge of fact families, go 11 minus four, and that will also get seven. Let me show you how. So 11 minus our four, would equal seven. So there's a couple ways that you could do that. All right, so our rule is plus seven. So five plus seven. I know it's gonna be 12, but we said we would use our calculator today. Five plus seven equals 12. I'm gonna skip this one for now. Let's do the bottom one, 15 plus our rule of seven, 15 plus seven equals 22. Okay, how we would do this one is we're going to use the same strategy, but this time we're gonna show it as blank plus seven, which is our rule, equals 17. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our Fact families to do 17 minus 7, and that will give us our rule, or our, excuse me, that will give us our answer. So 17 minus 7 equals 10. If this one's 10, then so is this. So our answer here is 10. So we've completed our input output table with a rule of plus 7. Find the rule. Input 17. Notice that this is running from left to right. So 
So here we have an input is on top this time, and the output are on the bottom. Well, this is getting bigger, and it could be multiplication, but I know that 17 times any number will not equal 26. So this is a, a uh, plus rule. So it's going to be 17 plus blank is equal to 26. But remember, with our use of fact families, I could rewrite this as 26 minus 17 to find our answer. 26 minus 17 equals 9, which means that this will be 9. So I know that this is a, a plus 9 rule because we've already eliminated multi multiplication, eliminated multiplication. So next one is 33 using our rule of plus 9. 33 plus 9 equals 42. Next one, 41 plus 9 equals 50. All right, we're going to use a similar strategy. We're using the same rule, even though our first number is blank here. Let's show this off to the side. So we're going to have blank plus our rule of 9 equals 69. But using my knowledge of fact families, I can use subtraction using our numbers here. So 69 minus 9, well, that's going to equal 60. I'll save time. I'm not going to use our calculator for that. So that would be 60. So our last answer for this table is 60 using a uh, rule of plus 9. You want pause and go ahead and solve, find the rule and complete the table. Okay, I'm seeing inputs here of 13 and 24. It's definitely getting bigger, 6 and 13 and 35 and 46. So we are definitely getting bigger. I know that 13 times any number is not going to be 24. So this is once again an addition rule. What we have here, if I just show my steps, is 13 plus blank, which is going to be our rule, equals 24. I'm going to use this information and my knowledge of fact families. 24 minus 13 equals 11. So our rule here is a plus 11 rule. All right, 27 plus 11 equals 38. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to use the same rule. It's going to be blank plus 11 equals 59. I can use this information and my knowledge of fact families and instead of adding, I'm going to subtract 59 minus 11 would equal 48. So our last missing number would be 48. So we've completed our input output table using a rule of plus 11. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully this has helped today and we will see you next time.